Hey guys and welcome to episode 3 now of my F1 2017 Sauber career mode. So today it's going to be the Bahrain Grand Prix. As you can see guys from the difficulty, I increased it by one more. Um, and uh, we'll see how I handle it in this race. So um, last episode, go check it out. We raced in China, which went... You know, average as always. Um, it was an extremely exciting race. I really suggest you check it out first. But if you if you're new to my channel and uh, you like what you're seeing, be sure to subscribe. It really helps me out, and it really um, makes me motivated to upload more videos. Um, so I think today we're gonna have some new upgrades on the car. Well, he's gonna talk to us, Chris. Hey, good to see you again. The factory sent over the parts that were looking good on the rig. They're being fitted as we speak. Have a look at the report. So yeah, guys, you can see three new upgrades from the first race in Australia to the race now. As you can see, front downforce. Um, it's a minor improvement, but still good. Then there's weight reduction, which is pretty big but still minor and then there's the general wear which we made last time very surprising that none of them failed I was actually pretty scared that they would fail but they actually didn't and uh, as you can see we're gonna keep this um, this engine for our next race at least for the practice but we'll probably change them for um, for the race so let's get on the with of practice where the formula one circus has rolled into town we're expecting the cars to appear out on track shortly to start today's practice session a lot of focus is naturally on the drivers but it's really important for the mechanics to get everything right as well as one little mistake could cost the team and one of their drivers the race result these guys are so meticulous and they train and perfect everything that they do. Without question, they feel the pressure in the same way as the drivers and they share the responsibility to ensure that the car makes it to the end of the race. So yeah guys, as always, we're going to start our practice session up with our track climatization. Again, full purple, pretty easy. Um, I'm actually pretty good at Bahrain I would say and uh, yeah that's our first 50 resource point then the now as we go to the next session which is the tire wear test we get we another now. purple to good to see we are going being very consistent and getting another 50 resource points and now this is the fuel management test we managed to get green in it as well um, then we decide to end the session there um, because that's the only time we had um, and yeah as you can see we had an orange part and uh, I decided to change it up because I didn't want my car to break up and uh, before I change this stuff I actually um, tried to make the qualifying lap but actually my car was really slow in uh, in uh, in the session and I couldn't actually pass it which was uh, pretty strange um, this actually wasn't too bad but it actually made a lot of effect on the car but as you can see right there the qualifying test went pretty well our movie made our target and this is the strategy test now um, we got pretty good but now as you can see guys look at the gears we have lost a gear on our car as you can see the gearbox is just over 60 percent but look at the gear we have lost seventh gear i actually forgot to change the gearbox and this is the only third race of the season and we have already got a gearbox problem we need to seriously fix this and uh I was just gonna finish this strategy test. It wasn't bugging me a lot, you know. The engine was pretty good. It was only the gearbox. Um, 
And yes, you can see we completed it, then I decided to stop to save the engine. So 600 resource points there, then as I went on my laptop, I decided to change it up. As you can see, um, we actually have a penalty now because of it. I don't know if it's because we changed it late, but I think we would still got one if um, <coughs> if uh, we had done it uh, before or after actually. Um, but this is our agent now. She wants to qualify 19th and beat our teammate Pascal Verline. But uh, yeah, let's now go into the qualifying. Cars are ready, the drivers are ready. We hope you're ready as qualifying is about to begin here in Bahrain. So then, Ant, it's another Grand Prix weekend, another exciting qualifying session ahead of us. What are you going to be looking out for over the next few minutes? The first question is going to be who can avoid making mistakes. There isn't much margin for error in qualifying, and you have to bear in mind that the track conditions may have changed since practice, particularly as we've had a few support races in the meantime. If the brake bias settings, for example, don't take this into account, it's extremely easy to lock up a front wheel and cause a flat spot. Just like that, your lap's ruined and you've wasted a set of tyres to boot. So yeah guys, this is qualifying now. <clears throat> I decided to go with a downforce setup. We made, I made a 7-7 seven, seven wings, I'm sure. There's only one um, and yeah, that was our first lap of the session we're st the currently in 19th I actually we go, just made one lap just because I had a penalty three. I didn't want Luar, to Raikkonen, you know Fettel, stress the engine Fettel, too much and uh, we were still going to start in last probably and so I decided to just put one lap in and uh, save the engine so Pascal Verlaine finishes decent in P18 and uh, yeah I think it's the race now <clears throat> and uh, let's hope we're going to get a good start it's going to be last place obviously we qualified last place and uh, it's going to be because of the penalty it's still going to be last place just because of that um, we get some more resource points the rivalry update swing pretty well we lost some reputation with the teams but it's not too bad that has and Williams is looking pretty good. Torso is good, looking good as well. And now let's listen to his voicemail. Hi, guess who? I've seen the team's expectations for the race, so I thought I'd pass them on and wish you luck. Take care. So P19 and beating our teammates seems pretty easy as always. We just need to gain one position. We're probably gonna do that just because people retire. So let's go to the Bahrain Grand Prix. A little bit of luck too, I'd say. This is one of those circuits where the safety car always seems to come out just at the right time to condense the field together and mix up the cars on different strategies. It's hard on brakes, it's tough on fuel, and the main overtaking opportunity is down into turn one, where it's easy to outbreak your opponent and potentially have a bit of argy-bargy as well. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Kimi Raikkonen's perfect lap yesterday sees him start from pole position, and starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Daniel Ricciardo, and Massa, Verstappen, Perez, Ocon, and Kevin Magnussen, Palmer, Grosjean, Daniel Kvyat, and Stroll, Sainz, Holkenberg, Stoffel van Dorn, and Pascal Wehrlein. Alonso and a Sauber rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. So yeah guys, it's going to be a 1-2 Ferrari for this race. It's the first time of the season I think that that's happened. <coughs> um, and now in this strategy, strategy um, section, we're going to change it up. We're going to start on the harder compound, that's what we always do. And it seems to pay off. So, 
we're going to let pit on lap 7 which seems to give us a tent just under a tent advantage I think and uh, yeah I was you know tweaking just seeing if we can improve it in any way but uh <coughs> but you know we usually don't actually we don't usually gain from these because um people use different strategies and you know my overcut doesn't actually work so let's go now to the race it's going to be five lights revving up the engine and it slides out and away we go with a we get an incredible start on both of the guys in front of us we pass Van Dorn just from the start and as the field bunches up now we can see Ooh, we touch a bit there with, I think that's Hulkenberg, yes. Um, and there's yellow flags, now what the hell has happened? Everyone's punching up, and we got an illegal overtake. On... On Van Dorn? What the heck has happened there? So, yellow flags came out, he obviously braked to stone doesn't crash, and uh, I thought that was... BS show uh, and you can see there there's Daniel Ricardo still sitting still out of the track but as you can see there guys I actually got another legal overtake which is bullcrap but as you can see there we slid as we touched with the Saints rear right tire so very action packed first lap um but that's because he we tried Davide and said once again we leave him the room. He's just gonna, you know, hold it as always. But now we're gonna try and dive it down to his side. Maybe yes, we try. We s don't squeeze him out, but I think we've got a pretty good exit. As you can see, I'm just checking my front wing if it's visually damaged, and it clearly is. And I actually felt the car. Since he's going wide there. That's just from the front wing. As we raise our hand there, a science actually collides with us. Um, and it's not science who passed, it's Hulkenberg, who is in front of us now. So he must have passed science and then me. So, as we skip now to lap 3, we are trying to pass Van Dorn, who is right in front of us, who's going pretty slowly. He's with the same setup as not set up uh, the same strategy as we are He's starting on the soft and with David down the inside they're pretty easy move on the McLaren Honda and behind him you can see there's Daniel Ricardo I think I saw him no it's actually his teammate as there's yellow flags now I think there was a collision between the two McLaren teammates um, and yeah there's yellow flags now, and that's Magnuson. That's why there's yellow flags. It's because of Magnuson. Magnuson is out of this Grand Prix. So much drama in the first few laps. We are down to 90 runners now. But skipping now to lap 4, we have Dan Ricardo for company now. He's gonna try down round the outside, but doesn't manage to do so. We hold on for now. <coughs> but he's looking like he's going to pass us soon um so we're approaching the pit window yeah we are skipping to left five then ricardo gets us really easily there really easy move for him we try and hold ground the outside we actually do but he's probably gonna have to gonna get a really good run out of this corner here yes he does look at the speed he's closing up on me and uh, <coughs> I try to break late but he breaks actually late as well we bank tires look at this such great action but I think he's gonna get us here no he's not we try and hold it there but I think the curb slowed us there but we're not gonna give up we're gonna dive down the inside he leaves us room, we leave him, we leave him even more room. Um, and uh, we're still not gonna give up. Down the inside, this is for position. 
for P16. It's like we're fighting for P1 here. We have the DRS, so we're gonna try to use it. The Sauber is not the best at the straight line, but I don't think it's the Red Bull's too good. As you can see there, Ricardo blocks us. He closed the door completely. I don't blame him there, but yeah. Uh, it, it's really expected from them to do that. And uh, yeah. Now we have Alonso behind us, and I don't think it's gonna catch us anytime soon. Uh, yeah. I think it's going to be close to our pit stop. Then Ricardo, he's close to his pit stop as well. It's he's on the super soft, and as you can see, my engine is already w getting worn out pretty well. But look at this, a McLaren Honda is actually trying to pass me here, braking pretty hard. And look at that, that's Lewis Hamilton. Actually who came out of pits now and now as we skipped lap 6 in this lap uh, Hamilton we're fighting with him look at this we're not gonna give up we're definitely not gonna give up look at this side by side into the popular fast right hander but he actually gets us pretty easily there incredible camera angle there um, as we ask our race engineer he does tell us that we're gonna pit this lap. Lap 7 now. We're in the middle of the race. We have Verstappen behind us, but I don't think we're gonna fight anymore because we are going to pit this lap. Okay, so, we'll pretty action packed race, I have to say. To um, and we hope we're gonna have a good pit stop. We're expected to finish P19, so, really, we're already above our expectations um, and yeah we I decided to change my front wing as well so it's not going to be a good stop yeah um, we're in the bottom of the field now um, as we have now our teammate in front of us who is miles in front and I don't think we're gonna catch anyone by the end of this race if someone pits maybe we'll have a chance <coughs> and uh, yeah as we now skip to lap 10 we have Van Dorn who's just exited the pits he must have had the same maybe he had some kind of crash or maybe he went for a two stop Two stop is not recommended, man. You just slow down, and nobody does that. Um, we get a pretty easy move on him, but there's yellow fags right there, and uh, it's because of Daniel Ricardo. Look how unlucky he is in this race. Look at that. Look at the right front. He has a puncher on his right front. He's had such an unlucky race today. It's unreal. First, first corner crash. Well, not first corner, but second corner, and then to get a puncher, just at the last, it's it's pretty bad. So all the way to lap, lap 14 now. Last lap, we have Alonso in front of us, who's going pretty slowly. Kimi Raikkonen wins the race, but I don't even care. And uh, we're actually closing to Alonso pretty quickly. Um, we think we're just a few seconds behind him. But I think I'm seeing someone in front of him. He must be getting blocked by someone who has a problem maybe. Because we're actually closing up pretty quickly. We are on the same tire. Um, <coughs> but I'm trying to give my all in these last few corners. But I think going to be p17 another disappointing race well for me because for the team it's it's decent but yeah that's the race
hard-fought win today then after a very difficult race. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. So yeah guys, that was uh, a pretty exciting race. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen wins the race, Valtteri Bottas is right behind him. Lewis Hamilton in a pretty poor P4, he's not having the best season. Uh, he's actually, after retiring his first race, he's actually not doing too, too well. Um, but our teammate finishes in P14, which is incredible for our team. P14, it's 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 higher than a quarter of the grid at least. Um, but yeah, here's the standings. It's not going to change for us because we haven't got any points. Well, it's really calculated with the average positions. We actually go down. We're just in front of our teammate, and we're sober, so we're in the bottom. Actually, Ferrari are leading the championship by a few points with. Mercedes so pretty interesting and uh, I think it's Raikkonen who's leading the championship by 50 points so at least he's not winning every race just like some other career modes like is going on um, yeah that's going to be the end of the episode just one thing I actually don't like about this game is the loading times they're pretty long and uh, I always forget to cut them off. Um, yeah, our team approval looking pretty good, and the reputation level of spring looking good as well. Career score, as always, increases. And double up for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.